तत्परम दर्शितम ये ना तस्मे श्री गुरवे नमः ओम ध्यान मूलम गुरु मूर्ति पूजा मूलम गुरु परम मंत्र मूलम गुरु वाक्यम मोक्ष मूलम गुरु कृपा गोम गुरु र ब्रह्मा गुरु र विष्णु गुरु र देवो महेश्वरा गुरु र साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्मे श्री गुरु वेनमः तस्मे श्री गुरु वेनमः तस्मे श्री गुरु वेनमः ओम शांति 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 हे हरि हे ओम I bid you my humble Jai Sitaram and I'm this for Har Har Mahadev to each and every one of you present here. It gives me great honor to welcome each and every one of you to the 11th session of the Grace of Divine Organization, Shri Durga Devasthanam, Shri Ganesh Chaturthi Utsavam 2024. The Grace of Divine Organization has been commemorating this spectacular and most majestic celebration for 12 years and seven years here at the Arya Spiritual Center ground. And it is solely because of the Ashirvad and love of Sri Ganesha. As we gather here today, let us take a moment to reflect upon the significance of this celebration. Lord Ganesha teaches us valuable life lessons, the importance of humility, the power of intellect, and the necessity of perseverance in the face of challenges. His blessings guide us through the labyrinth of life, helping us overcome obstacles in our success. Our Ganesh Chaturthi celebrations are not just a religious or cultural observance. They are a reflection of our values of unity, inclusivity, and community spirit. Before we listen to our Vyasji for tonight, Paniji Kirinji, we'll take one bhajan. I'll ask Mataji Gayatri to please come forward as she will render us the first bhajan. Please welcome Mataji Gayatri. <laughs> Swami Tum Seva Ji Kahe Ka Deva Ho Deva
servant of God, he has dedicated himself to a path of unwavering devotion and service. As an, as an exemplary shishya, he has been a shining example of loyalty, respect, and discipline, inspiring countless others with his dedication, the spiritual growth, and the teachings of his guru. Despite his achievements and wisdom, he remains grounded, always placing the needs of others before his own. His humility is matched only by his, by his sincerity, and he approaches every task, great or small, with the same spirit of love and dedication. Truly, he is a role model for all, a beacon of what it means to live a life of grace, devotion, and service. Please join me in welcoming this extraordinary soul whose life continues to inspire all. Please welcome Pandit Kirinji. Please give him a huge round of applause. Pranam, Om Sai Ram, Jai Ganapati. I humbly bow to the lotus feet of Maha Ganapati. Hey Ganapati, hey Vigna Harata. May you bless us this evening. May your guidance and protection be upon everyone at this moment of time. May all of the obstacles, problems and worries afflicting the mind at this moment be put aside for this divine privation to echo deep within our minds and hearts and as it plants a seed in our mind to grow into a fruitful tree of spirituality. Hey Ganapati, I bow down unto thee. I bow down to my mother, Matri Devo Bhava. I bow down to my Pitashri, Pitri Devo Bhava. I bow down to the lotus feet of my Guru, Acharya Devo Bhava. I bow down to the lotus feet of all the Bhakta Janos, Atiti Devo Bhava, to all of the acknowledged priests, all of the Acharyas, Burohits, all of the divine Bhaktas present here this evening. My Jai humble Sitara, Jai Garnapati. At this moment of time, before we begin this evening's Prabhachan, let us all perform a short practice of Pranayam. For those of you who know or do not know how to practice Pranayam, Pranayam is the life force within our very body. That divine energy given to us from Bhagawan, that divine prana, which carries our atma, which carries divya shakti, which carries jnana shakti, icha shakti, all of the divine ingredients that we need to make our life very spiritual and fruitful, resides within the prana, our breath. Daily practice of pranayam is highly recommended for any sadhaka or anyone on the spiritual journey. Even anyone for in the scientific realm, it is proven to help regulate the heartbeat, regulate the mind. So let us all begin with a little pranayam. If you do not know how to pr perform pranayam, take your right thumb and put it over your right nostril. And then when we begin, you will inhale silently while reciting, reciting Brahma Guru Gayatri Mantra in your mind all the way till your ex inhalation finishes. Then you take your left hand, cover your left nostril, hold for two seconds. And when you release, you release through your right nostril while holding the left nostril. And when you're releasing also Brahma Guru Gayatri Mantra mentally. And we will do this three times. Let us begin with Om. To clear the mind and the hearts. Om. Om. Let us 
begin with pranayam. Om Bhu, Om Bhuvaha, Om Swaha, Om Mahaha, Om Janaha, Om Tapaha, Om Satyam, Om Tatsavitulvare, Enyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi, Diyo Yonaf Prajodaya Ate, Om Apo Jyoti Rasu Amritam Brahma Bhurbhuva Swaru. At this moment of time, once we have energized that divine energy within our body in the form of prana by performing pranayam, join me in Swasti Vachana as we recite Swasti Vachana, giving invocation to all of the divine energy and forces in the universe for the blessings of everyone in this entire congregation, especially on this last night of Shri Ganesha Chaturthi Maha Utsavam. Om Swasti Vachanam Haste Gandhakshata Pushpani Grihitva Ganavadim Dhyatva Bhadra Suktam Patete Anu Bhadraha Kratavo Jantu Vishwato Dabdhaso Aparitasa Udhidaha Devano Jatha Sadhamidvrede Asanna prayuvo rakshitaro dhive dhive Devanam bhadra sumati rere juyatan Devanagum ratirabhino nivartatam Devanagum sakyam upase dhimavayan Devan ayuhu pratirantu jivase Tan purvaya nivirahu mahe vayam bhagam mitram aditin dakshama stridam arjamanam bharunagum soma mashvinashne nutan dishnya juvam tamishanan jagathas thas tu khas patin diyan jinvamavase u mahe vayam Pukhano jatha vedha sama sad vridi rakshita Payur dhabdaha swastaye Swasti na indra vridha shravaha Swasti na ha pukha vishwa vedaha Swasti na starikshu arishtani mihi Swasti no brihas padr dadhatu Prekad shava marutaha prishti mataraha shubhanjavano vidathe ku jagamayaha agni jifwa manavaha sura chakshasu vishvenu deva avasagamanniha bhadran karne bihishne noyama deva Bhadram Bhashye Maksha Bhirja Jatraha Stirai Rangai Stushto Vagum Sas Tanu Bhirvya Shema Deva Hitam Jadhayuhu Shata Minno Sharado Anti Deva Jatra Nishtakra Jara Santa Nunamma Putra So Jatra Pita Rubhavanti Mano Madhyari Rikatha Yurghan 
आदितिर्धौरादितिरंतरिक्षमादितिर्मातसपितासपुत्र हा विश्वेनो देवा आदिति ही पंचजना आदितर्जदिमतितर्जनित्वम् ओम विश्वानि देव सवितर्धुरितानि परासव जद्भद्रंतन आसव ओम देवहु शांति रंतरक्षकुम शांति ही प्रतिवी शांति रापह शांति रोख दया ह शांति ही वनस्पता यह शांतर विश्वे देवा शांति ब्रह्म शांति ही सर्वगुम शांति ही शांति रेवा शांति ही सामा शांति रिद्धि ओम जतो यतः समी हसे ततो नो अभयन गुरु शन्नह कुर प्रजाभ्यो भयन्नह पशुभ्यह ओम शांत शांत शांति ही सुशांतर भवतु सर्वार्थ शांतर भवतु श्रीमन् महागणादि पदये नमः ओम श्री लक्ष्मी नारायणा भ्याम नमः ओम उमा महेश्वरा भ्याम नमः ओम भाने हिरण्य घरभा भ्याम नमः ओम सच्चे पुरंदरा भ्याम नमः महा ओम माता पित्रे चरण कमले भ्यो नमः ओम इष्ट देवता भ्यो नमः ओम कुल देवता भ्यो नमः ओम ग्राम देवता भ्यो नमः ओम स्थान देवता भ्यो नमः ओम वास्तु देवता भ्यो नमः ओम सर्वे भ्यो देवे भ्यो नमः ओम सर्वे भ्यो ब्राह्मणे भ्यो नमः ओम सर्वे भ्यो गुरु भ्यो नमः ओम एतत् कर्म प्रधान देवता भ्यो नमः ओम सिद्धि बुद्धि सहिताय श्री मन महागणादि पताये नमः दर्विग्नमस्तु ओम गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वरः गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्मा तस्मे श्री गुरुवे नमः जय बोलो सतगुरु साईनाथ भगवान की जय As we have just invocated Swasti Vachana from Shukla Yajur Veda, Madhya Shaka. Throughout these entire 11 nights of devotional prayers, devotional chanting, Havan Yagya, and beautiful divine Pravachan, by this time, if any one of us know agriculture, those of us who know agriculture, raise your hand, please. So, this beautiful journey of Ganesh Chaturthi Maho Otsavam has been a spiritual agricultural journey of planting that bija. Everyone say bija. That divine seed of words, of knowledge, of gyan that has been planted and sowed into the mind, into the heart, to awaken our Atma. Everyone say Atma. In Atharva Veda, the, one of the Upanishads, there are many Upanishads from Atharva Veda. There is approximately 30 plus Upanishads. One of the Upanishads written by Maharishi Atharvana Rishi, he composed this beautiful Atharvana Shirsha. Shri Ganapati Atharva Shirsha. This divine prayer, this divine stotram, this divine mantra gives us the full reason and conviction why we worship Shri Maha Ganapati as. Omkar in that Nirguna form. And in his Sadguna form, we worship him as Mahaganapati. 
this wonderful, beautiful Swarupa, this form that we all know Garnapati as. But in this Atharvana Shirsha, there are very beautiful statements right from the beginning that we can take and imbibe and learn within our hearts and our mind to cultivate that ladder of spirituality to grow in the mind and in the heart. As we go, have come to this yajna for days and nights, and we have made that preparation in that spiritual land, that spiritual field of ours, and we have plowed and tilled and made everything right for planting that seed of words, that seed of Divya Gyan. Now is coming towards the end and this moment of time for us to achieve our success, our fulfillment, our desires that Ganapati will grant us based on our Shraddha, our faith and our Bhakti. Only then Bhagwan Ganapati will give the access to that seed to grow in that divine Kalpavriksha, that divine tree of fruitful activities in our lives. Let us all hear this beautiful Upanishad from Atharvana Rishi, known as Ganapati Atharva Shirsha. We have heard it each and every night reciting to Ganapati. We have heard it, the whole of Liberty Avenue has heard it today during our wonderful Yatra. Give Ganapati a round of applause. <laughs> Ganapati Bhagavan Ki! So we've been hearing these mantras chanting, but what are we saying? Those of, to, who do, those of us who do not understand Sanskrit, who does not understand this prayer, may be asking the mind, what exactly is Atharvana Shirsha saying? It has very powerful impact and messages for the mind. Let us all hear what Atharvana Shirsha is saying. Om Shri Mahaganadi Padaye Namaha Om Bhadram Karne Bhishrunuyama Deva Bhadram Bashe Maksha Pirja Jatra Stire Rangay is Dushtavagum Sastanubi Vyashema Deva Hitam Yadayuhu Swastina Indra Vridhashtava Swastina Pusha Vishwaveda Swastina Starikshu Arishtanimihi Swastino Brihaspatir Dhatu Om Shand Shand Shandihi Hardihi Om In the very first line Veda Upanishad is saying Om Bhadram Karne Bihi Bhadram meaning auspicious Karne Bihi Karna Our divine ears Shrunuyama Devaha O oh, Om Devas, may we hear with our ears what is auspicious. Many times in life, and as Guruji has beautifully made in his statement in his Pravachan last night, we have two wonderful ears that Bhagwan has blessed us with and one mouth. But yet we tend to use our vocals more in a destructive manner rather than listening more and then making wise choices in life. Whether we have happy times or sad times in our life is a mixture of our karma from previous janma and our choices that we make in this life. What kind of seeds that we plant, that is what we will reap and sow. <laughs> Bhagwan continues to say, Bhadram Pashye Maksha Birja Jatraha our eyes. May we see with our eyes what is auspicious and adorable. Eyes that we have. Those of us that have a vehicle, the same way that how our vehicle works, it works with sensors. These eyes of ours is a sensor for our the mind and the brain. Whatever we see in life, it gives a signal to this brain and to this mind. And if the Ganapati within us is not activated, if our filtration system is not activated, if that Divya Gyan and Divya Shakti is not activated, then how can we filter what we see with our eyes? 
How can this be possible? It can never be possible. That is why Maha Ganapati is very important in our lives on a day-to-day -day basis. All of us need our eyes to see where we're going, how to walk, how to go to work, to perform our jobs very carefully. But we are living in a world today that is very contaminated. Why? There are so many different things that are going around, around us. Even if we want to live life like a sadhaka and to stay in our divine spiritual lane, if we do not have filter over our, the elements of these bodies and our eyes, oh, corruption will happen in our life. Confusion, frustration, negativity will start developing within our mind. That's why daily sadhana is important in our life. The burnout, the previous karma from the previous day, unknowingly, unknowing karma. Veda continues to tell us, may we be prayerful in life with steadiness. Stirangai means steadiness in our body and mind. May we remain consistent with our sadhana in life and always remember in the name of Bhagawan will be our spiritual insurance and we will gain that back in the time of spiritual awakening. Consistency is key for those of us fortunate enough to be born in a home, in a religious home. Religious meaning dharmic actions that are practiced every single day in our life, religiously, continuously in our home, where our daily duties being the Panchamaha Bhutas, our five daily duties that man must and have to perform in their life. In a home where Hanuman Chalisa is told to be practiced each and every day, especially to the children of today's society. In a home where the parents readily and equipedly wakes up the children early in the morning, not with emotions to feel sorry that it's too early yet for them. Nahi. Waking them up early at that hour of Brahma Muhuta, as Guruji has said yesterday, as he empowered divine energy, the divine Nari Shakti, for the females and the women of our society today to have that divine Divya Shakti to be firm with our children. Wake them up during that Brahma Muhurta. And when all of these activities can be performed in a home, those of us who are lucky to have been born in a home with these religious activities being performed and being upheld by Dharmic parents, children of today's society. If you are in a home that has all of these religious merits, count your blessings. There are many, many, many of children in this world today lost without guidance, without the guidance of parents, without the guidance of Guru, without the guidance of a spiritual association, Satasanga, everyone say Satasanga, that divine congregation of a community. It takes a village to help and raise one family to make those children become divine Shri Ram and Shri Krishna and Ma Bhagavati of our society for tomorrow. And it takes one child to sustain that whole village when that child grows up. This is the power and the importance of spirituality in our day-to-day -day lives. Veda is telling us, yet some of us do not wake up. We wake up and we smell the coffee. We don't smell the spiritual coffee. Why? When Ganapati is activated within us, then we can smell that, smell that spiritual coffee. Veda continues to say, may we offer our lifespan allotted by the devas for service of God. We may spend our temporary time on this earth, spend it in a constructive manner by rendering service to mankind, which in turn is giving our service to God. 
all of the wonderful devotees throughout these 11 days, 11 nights, all of those of you that have walked beautifully with that Ganesh Yatra today, and those who have stayed up since last night making prasad, making all of the preparations through this entire yagya, you have listened to Veda Bhagwan here because you have performed your service by servicing humanity which has made Garnapati very pleasant, smileful and happy. Give yourselves a round of applause. Garnapati Bhagwan ki So, Bhagwan Veda continues to tell us, Swastina Indro Vridhashravaha, Swastina Pusha Vishwavedaha, Swastina Starksho Arishtani Mihi, Swastino Brihaspatir Dadhatu. May Indra of the Vedas, of great wisdom and glory, grant us well being by bestowing wisdom. May Taraksha, the great divine sun god, the great divine mystical bird, give us that protective power. May Pushan, the sun god, nourish us. That divine sun god of great knowledge grant us well-being by nourishing us with Divya Gyan, divine knowledge. Another wonderful reason why we should get up during that Brahma Mahurta before sunrise and attain that divine rays from Surya Bhagavan. Only then can the mind be activated. Only then can the Ganapati within us be pleased and that divine knowledge will begin to flow. That divine knowledge will become a fountain of knowledge for the future generation to come. And may Brihaspati, the Guru of the Devas, grant us well-being. May we attain the knowledge from the Guru. Many of us may be able to retain knowledge, learn knowledge, sometimes without the guidance of a Guru. If we have not reached that Guru in our life at that moment, we may try to self-learn whether it be from Google Baba, whether it be from YouTube Baba, whether it be from attending yajyas and pujas, we try to learn prayers, we try to learn mantras. But who will tell us when we're chanting wrong? Who will tell us when we're saying the wrong word, the wrong shabda? Who will guide us on the right path? Even we listen to what they are saying and we may be able to re repeat it Repeatedly, by having good medha shakti, the knowledge to be able to retain our knowledge, how are we to know that we are saying the words correctly? That is why we must, must find that guru in our life. If we want to follow this spiritual path, it is a must necessity. Find that spiritual guru. And when the love, the faith and the shraddha within us is at the optimal capacity, Maha Garnapati within us will awaken this buddhi, this divine gyan, and lead us to that spiritual master for our lives to be very fruitful. Veda continues to tell us, Om, at the end of this mantra, Om Shandhi 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 Harihi Om, we say, Shanti 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 Hi, Hari Hi Om three times. Why is this? Some of us may ask. It is because we are asking for peace in the mind, peace in the body, and peace in the heavenly region. There is a threefold destiny path, and in our sankalpa that we make, these three pieces are mentioned in there. They are Adi Bautika. Everyone say Adi Bautika. Adi Devika and Adhyatmika. These three forces of, dest of destiny play a role in our life each and every day. Adhyatmika is suffering caused from other living creatures and natural disturbances like the heat, the cold, earthquake, natural disturbances that happens in this world. 
This is part of destiny that we cannot run from. Why is it that some part of the world, some people are suffering from drought, some people are suffering from tsunami, and here, in this part of the world, sometimes we are safe. It is destiny. Those of us who are destined to be there at that time because of our karma in different parts of the world, because of the home and the place and the birth we have born in, everything is predestined by Bhagavan. We tend to believe that because of occurrences or probability that these things happen in our life. There's no such thing as probability in the kingdom of God. Everything has a season and a reason. Everything in our lives is planned in a very divine way. Why? Because of our karma. Why? Because of our actions in this life. Why? Because whatever knowledge that we give out, whatever energy that we give out into the world, this comes back to us. Adi Devika from supernatural forces cause and psychic disturbances or fears, supernatural disturbances, meaning from the graha, from the nakshatras, from our planetary stars that we have born with. Why? This is why it is very important to read, reach our purohits, our acharyas, and those learned individuals when our child is coming into this world. Why? We the Purohit will open that divine patra, the divine panchang, and see everything that is happening astrologically for that child and make all of the divine recommendations. And only then can all the negativities from this Adi Devika be eased, be shantied. Next, Adhyatmika, suffering on the bodily and mental disturbances. This is also again due to our previous karma in our previous lives. Veda continues to say, Om Namaste Garnapataye Tvameva Pratyaksham Dattvamase Tvameva Kevalam Garda Aase Tvameva Kevalam Dharta Aase Tvameva Kevalam Harta Aase Tvameva Sarvam Kalavidam Brahmaase Tum Sakshad Atma Srinityam Hritam Bachmi Satyam Bachmi Avatvam Maam Avavaktaram Avashrotaram Avadhataram Avadhataram Avanu Chanam Avashishyam Avapaschata Ate Avapurasta Ate Veda is telling us very beautifully that Maha Garnapati is that one who is the form of Brahma, that creative energy and power beautifully explained last night for those of us that was here. And he is the sustainer in that form of Maha Vishnu and the evil destroyer in that form of Rudra. Veda continues to say, O Ganapati, you are the visible Atma, the, the external underlying reality. Veda is saying here that, O Ganapati, you are the visible Atman. The Atman we cannot see. It is a very subtle divine energy within our body. But Veda and Upanishad is saying here that, Ganapati, this Swarupa that we see here in front of us, that is the form of Atman. That is the form of Brahma. That is the form of Brahmanaspati, which is divine, pure consciousness, universal consciousness. Veda continues to say, Ritam Bachmi, Satyam Bachmi. I declare, Ritam, the divine law. I declare that divine truth. There are many laws in the world that we as humans sometime sometime try to maintain and sometime we try to bend the laws or the rules for our own benefits but how many of us try to maintain divine law the law of our bylaws of our vedas of our divine lineage divine success, succession of our saptarishis that divine heritage 
that we have all born and grown with. Sri Satya Sanatana Dharma. That eternal righteousness. How many of us in our lives try to uphold this law honestly to the highest level possible? Veda is saying that we need to imbibe these bylaws of our dharma and our religion within our lives if we want to activate the Ganapati within us. It is very crucial. Veda continues to say, I declare the Satyam, the absolute reality, that there is an absolute consciousness underlying everything, which Atharvana Rishi saw as Ganapati, the absolute truth, that is God resides in each and every living and non-living entity as Ganapati. In this bodily form of ours, Ganapati resides there. In this piece of wood, that chair, this fire, everything, Ganapati resides there. Why? Some of us may say, if that stone outside, for an example, anyone that is not familiar with Sanatana Dharma, that eternal law, they may only see it with his physical material eye seeing that piece of stone. But that is not as a piece of stone. Why? Because air, fire, wind, earth, ether, this divine forces and energy was put to made all of these elements. This wood has to go through manufacturing process, but yet again the elements have to make it. That is why Ganapati resides in everything and we must have respect for everything. From day one in Gurukul, Guruji, Gurudev Shekhar Prasad teaches us, never move or kick anything with your feet. Why? Everything has Bhagawan within it. Move it with our hands. We're cleaning the floor, bend down with our hand and clean that floor. Back home, we leap a, the baby with Gobar. Why? Because that love, that divinity that we have for Prakriti, for nature, for Dharti Ma. We do not see Dharti Ma as just an animal roaming in the street. And when that life is finished, we want to consume it. Nahi! We must, as Sanatana Dharma, if we are practicing Sanatana Dharma, wholeheartedly, if we believe so, we have to question ourselves. Veda is telling us, Bhagawan is telling us, Atarvana Rishi is telling us that we must practice Ahimsa. Everyone say Ahimsa. Ahimsa means non-violence. In this divine creation of life, yes, for us to continue to sustain ourselves, one life has to consume another. But why? Our Sapta Rishis from generations and lifetimes, hundreds, thousands of years ago, from the inception of the universe, knew this divine truth of Ahimsa. So for those of us to consume, we must consume that which will cause the minimalist pain in life. And that is why we choose to consume fruits, to consume vegetables, to consume sattvic bhojan, which will purify the mind and the hearts and which will activate the ganapati within us. If we do not follow our bylaws and we contribute to himsa, which is violence, ahimsa means non-violence. So if we contribute to himsa, how can ganapati awaken within the mind and the heart? How can this be possible? Never. That is why Sanatana Dharmas are vegetarian. That is why they are a Shakahari. That is why. It must not be because Veda tells us. It must, must not be because our religious scriptures say so. Because one day when the religious scriptures are gone, what we will do? We will revert. We have no scripture no more. So let us go and consume. No. We, that divine understanding must come from deep within. And then we understand we are vegetarian because we want to preserve life and cause the minimalist pain and suffering in this life. Veda continues to tell us, 
Now protect me, O Ganapati. Avatvamam, avavaktaram, avashrotaram, avadhataram, avadhataram. Now protect me, O Ganapati. Protect the truth, I declare. Veda is saying that Ganapati will protect anyone that protects their dharma and protects satya, satya vachan, not only in the form of speech, but, only, but also in our mental process. Veda is continued to saying, protect me, the speaker, O Ganapati, protect the teacher who declares this truth. To all of the purohits in our society, to all of our distinguished leaders, Garnapati in Atharva Shirsha is saying here, only to speak the truth, never to be afraid. Speak what is dharmic and Bhagawan Garnapati will protect you. No need to fear. Veda continues to say, protect the listener, O Ganapati. Protect the student who listens to this truth. Any student in this wonderful congregation, in our Sanatana Dharma, that wants to practice spirituality, wants to practice Vedas, wants to practice this spiritual way of life. Ganapati, Veda is saying that Ganapati will protect that student no matter if the entire world is against that student. Have that divine faith in Ganapati. Ganapati continues to say, protect the giver, O Ganapati, Data. Protect the giver of knowledge who transmits this truth. Data means giver. That can be a guru or a shishya, anyone reciting this divine knowledge. Protect the sustainer, O Ganapati. Protect the, the sustainer who retains this truth in memory. And for that power of retention in our memory, we need Medha Shakti. Everyone say Medha. Medha Shakti. That means Ma Bhagavati in that divine form of intelligence, not only to receive divine knowledge, but to retain. As Acharya Arun Gosai and all of the other Purohits that read, one of them, I do not remember right now this moment, but gave a very beautiful example of that leaky bowl. Our mind must not be like that leaky bowl when divine knowledge enters. It has to stay. Only Ma Bhagavati in the form of Sharada Devi will give us that divine capacity to retain our knowledge in this mind. When we can retain it, then we can put it into practice. If it goes in one ear and out the other, or it retains for two seconds and we leave the Yajna house and then it gone down the drain, what will happen? Will we learn anything? Nahi. We need Medha Shakti, Ma Sharada, Ma Bhagavati to retain that knowledge. Veda continues to say, protect the disciple. Protect the disciple who retains this truth following the teacher. Veda is saying the importance and showing here the importance of Guru, Shishya, Parampara. Knowledge should come from a qualified source. Not YouTube Baba and Google Baba only. As previously mentioned, how will we know we are saying the correct Shabda? It is only through the Guru. Even though at first we may attempt for self-learning without a Guru, that knowledge will always remain incomplete. It will not be purna. Everyone say purna. We need complete knowledge. Complete knowledge. How can we attain this complete knowledge? How can we, first of all, attain the divine guru that we are looking for in our life? Those of us that are speaking, seeking divine knowledge. We have to get rid of something. We have to Eliminate something from our lives and that is Ahankara. Everyone say Ahankara. Ego. Must go. Jao, jao. That ego must go. And then we will find that divine spiritual master, that divine leader in our life. Just as Adi Shankaracharya has 
found that spiritual master. And what did he do? He composed a very divine stotram that gives knowledge of the self. When we can remove that ego from our mind, then we will find that guru. Let us all imbibe this quality in our mind, in that form of realizing the self. Mano Buddha Hankar Chittani Naham Nachastro Trajehwe Nachagrana Netre Nachavyo Mabhumire Natejo Navayo Chidhanandarupaha Shivoham Shivoham Na chapra na samjo na ve panchavayu na vasapt dhaturi na va panchakosha na vakpani pado na chopashta payu. Everyone, chidhanandharupaha. Louder, awaken that divinity in the mind. Chidhananda Rupaha Shivoham Shivoham Namme Dvesh Rago Namme Loba Moho Madho Neva Me Neva Matsar Yabhava Na Dharmo Na Charto Na Kamo Na Moksha Chidhananda Rupaha Shivoham Shivoham Na punyam na papam Na saukhyam na dhukham Na mantro na tirtam Na vedo na yajna Aham bojanam neva bojam Na bhokta Siddhananda rupaha Shivoham Shivoham Na me mrityu shanka, na me jati bedha Pita neva me neva mata, na janma, na bhandur na mitram Gurur neva shishya, chidhananda rupa Shivoham Aham nirvikalpo nikara nirakara rupa Vibhurvyapta sarvatra sarvendriyanam Sadameva santam na muktir na bhanda Chidhananda rupa Shivoham Chidhananda rupa Shivoham Shivoham Haranam Parvati Padaye Har Har Mahadev Shambhu Kailashapati Maharaj Ki Jai Kashi Vishwanath Bhagavan Ki Jai Because of time I will not elaborate on Nirvana Shuktam But do you know how you can learn Nirvana Shuktam? Come to Durga Devasthanam. Come there on Sunday for Dharma Satsang. Come during Guru Var. Come during Divine Pravachan and you will learn. Jai Ho! Veda continues to tell us. Avapurasta ate, avadhakshinata ate, avapaschata ate, avottarata ate, avachordhvata ate, Abhadharata ate sarvato maam pahi pahi samandate. Veda is saying, protect this truth from the east, Purastat. Protect this truth from the south, Dakshina. Protect this truth from the west, Pashtin. Protect this truth from the north, Uttara. Protect this truth from above. Protect this truth from below. Those of us know of the four directions, the cardinal directions, and even the directions in between, northwest, southwest. But how much of us 
have taken the time, if any, to realize that it is also above and below. Veda is telling us here a very important key. Many of times we may only perceive the four or eight cardinal directions, but fail to realize about the above and below. The same is applied to life when we try to gauge and analyze a problem and try to solve it in life. We only see this problem at face value. Face value meaning a one plane analysis or a two plane analysis. While going to school, those of us who have went to school in this country, in mathematics you are taught that your shapes and your dimensions, one dimension, two dimension and three dimension, so on and so forth. Many of times, if we apply this to our problems in our life, many of times we, we have a saying that you cannot see past your nose. Why? Any problem or situation in our life where someone comes to tell us something to disturb the mind, because the ganapati is not activated within us, we become very gullible. We become very easily persuaded. We become very easily distracted. We become very easily to fall off the course of spirituality. Just one word, one shabda of utterance. Because our shraddha is not fully activated in Bhagawan. We choose to depend on Manushya. We choose to depend on a dharmic society. We choose to depend on those of us in our circle that sometimes do not have spiritual gyan, do not have this meda shakti activated and we will go to seek guidance and advice from them. Those of us, we have this mortal body, this sharira. We go to the doctor for checkup. Will any of us at any time go to ask a basketball player for medicine advice? Which medicine to consume? Will we ask a rap artist our medicine life plan? No. Then why? What are we doing in our life? Who must we pray to? Who must we go for guidance? We have to go to Bhagwan Almighty, God Almighty. Then and only then we will not be fooled by the society. We will not be fooled by the wolf in sheep clothing. Many of them exist out there. And they will prey on those of us who do not have Divya Shakti awakened within us. Who do not have that divine insight and knowledge, Drishti, who does not have that foresight to see when danger is coming. They will prey on innocent individuals as such. Those who are very gullible. One example. Those of us who have vehicle, raise your hand. How many of us have went to the dealership or a car lot or we searched on Google Baba for a vehicle or something? We have a little bit of money. We're doing good and well in life. Ganapati bless us a little bit and we want to go purchase a nice vehicle. How many of us go on Google Baba? We search, we see something nice. All of the nice pictures are put up wonderful. The mind is immediately attracted to that picture without question, without thought without the second thought. We go to see this vehicle now at the lot. We feel very excited now. The mind is already made up and convinced we want this vehicle. We will get it no matter what. We will attain it. The vehicle now is parked in the lot. The showman for the dealer now knows everything that is wrong with that vehicle. All the underlying problems. But will he tell you? Nahi. Why? He needs to make his sale. He needs to make his money. He sees when you enter alone, the gullibility, the vulnerability, because the lack of discipline in the mind. So now that sailor with sweet words of honey that will fall from the mouth, that will encaptivate us now. And we are already locked in. Then the vehicle is parked in such a way where we can only see what, only three sides of the vehicle. The other side of the vehicle is against a wall or another car is blocking it. But because we are very 
determined from even before we came to that dealer in our mind that we want this thing. We will have it no matter what cost. We purchased this vehicle now. Everything sounds very beautiful, even though it's high price charge. And we're going home. Nice, modern, not brand new because the brand new dealer might not do that, hopefully. But we go down the road with our brand new Mercedes or BMW or Lamborghini, what have you. And we feel very nice. All eyes are glittering on us. We feel very attentionative. We say, wow, you see, I spend my money and buy this vehicle. Everyone is looking at me and I wanted this praise. I wanted this satisfaction for everyone to watch me now. And I feel nice in this vehicle. Yeah, everyone watching. Then some people start to look a little weird at you and they look very confused. And then you question yourself, why are they looking at me like this? Then anywho, you continue your journey and you reach home now. You reach home, you park your vehicle and you go to come out now of the vehicle and admire this nice, beautiful property that you have bought, this purchase. And as now when you reach home, you're walking around this vehicle now to inspect it, how nice you feel. And you're going around and when you reach that one side of the vehicle that you never took the time to check, the whole side of the vehicle break up, dent up, mash up. Hole all in the door. And then you, want, then you will realize that everybody was walk, looking at you from outside saying, look at what such a fool, what are they driving there? And they just buy this brand new car, they were showing off big, big. What is the moral of this lesson? The same way in life we become gullible like this. We fall for the traps of those wolf in sheep clothing and we do not realize or take the time to inspect, to second guess and to activate the Ganapati within us to solve our problem properly instead of jumping to conclusion, jumping to find fault and accusation in those around us, even up to our gurus, even up to our sons, our daughters, no matter what the situation may be, when ego flies in the brain, everything goes away. There's a saying, Vinashakale Viprita Buddhi. At the time of one's destruction, because of the ego, divine knowledge, and everything that we have learned and our merit will go. That is why. We must not ever let ego enter the mind. Anytime we have a problem in life, find out first before we jump to conclusion. Why? How can this happen only, only, only? When Garnapati is activated within us through our daily sadhana, our daily practice, our love, our devotion and faith to God Almighty, following the words of our Guru, 200% without question, without second thought, Guru says, jump, fall, go ahead. Why will the Guru say so? You have to have that Shraddha and faith in your, in your inner self to know that the Guru will never put you in danger, never in a million years put you in danger to harm yourself. Those of us that have the fortune to have a Guru in our life, a Satya Guru, a true Guru, not a wolf in sheep clothing, that Guru will take you and hold your hand and guide you in the stairway and in the stairway of spirituality to reach God realization. So once this Garnapati is activated within us, we will know to solve each and every problem in our lives. Not only we go to the altar and we know Garnapati as Vignaharta, the one that removes obstacles from our path and we say, Hey Ganapati, please remove all obstacles. Oh, I beg you Ganapati, remove them. And Ganapati will go like this and obstacles remove. The obstacle, if that happens, how much of, any, how much of us want that to happen? Raise your hand. Very good. Oh. If Ganapati come to remove the obstacle like this, what will happen next week? What will happen next month? What will happen a year from now? There is a reason and season why we have to go through punishment in life. We have to 
endure pain and suffering for a real reason. All of these problems and difficulties in our life, we have to face them. Instead of saying, hey Ganapati, remove my difficulties. Say, hey Ganapati, awaken this divine energy within my mind. Awaken within me your Swarupa, your form as Omkara. Awaken that divine intellect and help and guide me to the right direction. So that the Ganapati within me will solve that problem. That is how Ganapati will come and solve our problem. Not by going like this and then go away. We will never learn anything from that. There will never be no value. Just as the goal has to shine in the fire and blaze before it can shine and burn out all of the imperfections, we must go through our trials and tribulations. That is the only way we can get off the cycle of karma along with doing our daily duty and our daily sadhana. We have to pay for what we sowed in the previous life. And when that is the paid now, then the next life to come, our next generation, our children, everything will be a clean slate. Some of us, dharmic individuals and righteous devotees, ask the question, I'm doing everything right in life, but the moment I slip and try to do something wrong, oh, Bhagwan gets me like this. Why does this happen? And the next person committing robbery and cheating and suffering, Oh, nothing happens to them maybe a year later. Those of us that have karma happen to us right away, count your blessings. Why? That means your karmic slate is clean. And as soon as the moment you do something wrong, knowingly or unknowingly, Bhagwan is pulling you back with his basha, with his goda, with his noose. And with that axe, the same axe that we will rake, the agricultural field with Garnapati in his hand has a pasha and a and a and the and the greater. The pasha will be there to grab those evil forces and to remove them out of the way. And for the devotees that are going off track, Ganapati will grab them with the pasha or the goda and pull them back. Say, here my child, come this way. You are going wrong. So we must go through our trials tribulations in this world. Ganapati Veda is telling us here. For those of us who would like to hear more about Ganapati Atharva Shirsha, there is Ganapati Chaturthi Maho Utsavam 2025. We have only learned Ganapati Atharva Shirsha up to quarter way. And so much of divine knowledge was there only in this much of the Atharvashirsha alone. Just one more line I would like to recite. In the Palashruti of Atharvashirsha, you have the Ganapati Atharvashirsha up to there. And then there's a next commentary by the Rishi, Maharishi Atharvana Rishi that is called the Pala Shruti. Pala means fruit. And Shruti meaning a statement of the fruits one gets when they recite Atharvana Shirsha. The fruits that one gets when they listen to Atharvana Shirsha. Let us hear what Veda says in the Pala Shruti. Etara Tharva Shirsham Yodhite Sabrahma Bhuya Ayakalpate Sasarva Vigne Erna Bhadyate Sasarva Taha Sukamedhate Sapancha Mahapapa At Pramuchate Sayamati Yano Devasakratam Papam Nashayati Pratarati Yano Radragatam Papam Nashayati Sayam Prata Prayunjano Papu Bhavati Sarvatra Dhyano Bhavignu Bhavati Dharmartha Gama Moksham Chavindati Idam Tarva Shirsham Mashishyayana Dhyam Veda is saying, Upanishad is saying here, Ganapati 
mala mantra salutations to the lord of all human beings salutations to the lord of all ganas veda is saying here he who studies this atarvana shirsha with shraddha will become fit to realize brahmana or that divine universal consciousness he will not be permanently tied down by any obstacle and his consciousness will become clear you will have clear drishti permanent happiness will increase within his consciousness wherever he at all times he will get freed from the five grave sins pancha mahabhutas in our heritage and in vedas there is something known as the pancha mahabhutas sorry the pancha mahapapas they are brahmhatya the killing of a brahmin is considered one of the most severe sins with dire karmic repercussions what does this mean does that mean i will take a weapon and go and kill a brahmana no nahi by deferring a child or anyone that seeks divine knowledge to become that brahmana you are committing brahmhatya anyone that stops a child from this spiritual path of learning a spiritual path of devotion that wants divya gyan brahma gyan you are committing brahmhatya never ever put anyone down that wants this spiritual knowledge this way of life we are committing brahmhatya what is the next grave sin shurapana the act of consuming intoxicants it is strictly prohibited and viewed as a major sin that can tarnish one's spiritual progress so it is not i or guruji that is making this up about the dj the devil juice veda is telling us here what will happen to that individual when they consume madhupan next one is steya or theft is a significant transgression that can lead to the negative consequences both in this life and beyond never try to steal from anyone steal wealth steal time steal knowledge or anything stealing is a maha papa the next maha papa is well it says here something but i will say something else but anyone that commits adultery anyone that eyes that divinity of a married woman that divine divya shakti as gurudev said last night beautifully in his pravachan for all of the women and the married women of today's society wear your sindur very proud why to prevent this maha papa to prevent those lustful individuals out there from lusting after those that are occupied that is a maha papa never do that in life and the last one this is the key important one mm-hmm. understanding the maha pataka or the five great sins is essential why because the last one says mahapath the last one says those that entertain and mingle and deal with any individual that have committed the previous four sins are equally equivalent to committing those mahapapas that is why satta sangha is very important your association devotees bhakta janos the last final message here that veda is saying we may feel many times in life oh i didn't commit that i was the one that did that he did that but you are still in congregation you are still in satsang with that person then what will happen by the divine law 
మా మహాగణపతి ఇన్ దట్ బ్రహ్మణ స్వరూప దట్ నిర్గుణ ఫార్మ్ దట్ ఈస్ వాచింగ్ అండ్ సీయింగ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎక్స్టర్నల్ అండ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఇంటర్నల్ నోస్ అవర్ అసోసియేషన్ and any one of us that associates with any one that has committed those sins you are equally to be blamed so that ends all of the questions why we question ourselves why we are still in problems and worries and difficulties we must not only purify ourselves but our surroundings and those we associate with and only then and only then can that maha ganapati blossom within us గణపతి భగవాన్ కి మంగళమూర్తి గణపతి బాబా ప్లీజ్ జాయిన్ మీ ఇన్ దిస్ డివైన్ శృతి దిస్ డివైన్ స్తుతి టు మహా గణపతి మంగళమూర్తి దర్శన మాత్రే మన కామనా పూర్తి జై దేవ జై దేవ్ ఎవ్రీవన్ జై దేవ జై దేవ్ జై దేవ జై దేవ జై మంగళమూర్తి ఓ శ్రీ మంగళమూర్తి దర్శన మాత్రే మన కామనా పూర్తి జై దేవ జై దేవ్ సుఖ కర్తా దుఃఖ హర్తా వార్తా విఘ్నాచి నుర్వీ పూర్వీ ప్రేమ కృపా జయాచి సర్వాంగి సుందర ఉతిశేందురాచి కంటి జర కే మాల ముక్తా ఫలాంచి జై దేవ జై దేవ్ జై దేవ జై దేవ్ జై మంగళమూర్తి ఓ శ్రీ మంగళమూర్తి దర్శన మాత్రే మన కామనా పూర్తి జై దేవ జై దేవ్ జై దేవ జై దేవ్ జై మంగళమూర్తి దర్శన మాత్రే మన కామనా పూర్తి జై దేవ జై దేవ్ రత్న కాచిత్ పారా తుజ గౌరీ కుమరా చందన్ నాచే ఉతి గుం గుం కేశరా హీరే జరిత ముఖతో శోభతో భరా రుణజే నురుంజున్నుతి నూ పోరే చాకర్ణి కాగరియా జై దేవ జై దేవ్ జై దేవ జై దేవ జై మంగళమూర్తి దర్శన మాత్రే మన కామనా పూర్తి జై దేవ జై దేవ్ లంబోధర పీతాంబర పరివర వందనా సరళ సోంద వక్ర తుందా త్రీనయన దాస రామాచార వాక్పాహే సదనా సంకత్తి పావాభే నిర్వాణి రక్షావే సురవర వందనా జై దేవ జై దేవ్ జై దేవ జై దేవ జై మంగళమూర్తి దర్శన మాత్రి మన కామనా పూర్తి జై దేవ జై దేవ్ జై దేవ జై దేవ జై మంగళమూర్తి దర్శన మాత్రి మన కామనా పూర్తి జై దేవ జై దేవ్ సింధుర్లాల చరాయో అచ్చా గజ ముఖ గో గౌరీ బిరాజే సుత గౌరీ హర గో ఆతవియే బుద్ధ లద్దు సాయి సురవర్ గో మహిమా కహే న జాయి లాగత హుం బద గో జై దేవ జై దేవ్ జై దేవ జై దేవ జై మంగళ మూర్తి దర్శన మాత్రే మన కామనా పూర్తి జై దేవ జై దేవ్ జై జై శ్రీ గణరాజ విద్యా సుఖదాత ధన్య తుమ్హారు దర్శన మీరా మన రమతా జై దేవ జై దేవ్ జై దేవ జై దేవ జై మంగళ మూర్తి దర్శన మాత్రే మన కామనా పూర్తి జై దేవ జై దేవ్ 
अष्ट सिद्धि दासी संकट गोबेरी विघ्न विनाशन मंगल मूरत अधिकारी कोटि सूरज प्रकाश ऐसे छवि तेरी गंध स्थल मद मस्तक झूले शशि बिहारी जय देव जय देव जय जय श्री गणराज विद्या सुख दाता धन्य तुम्हारो दर्शन मेरा मन रमता जय देव जय देव भाव भगत से कोई शरणागत आवे संतत संपत सब ही भरपूर पावे ऐसी तुम महाराज मोकोति अति भावे गण को सावे नंदन निषगुण गावे जय देव जय देव जय जय श्री गणराज विद्या सुख दाता धन्य तुम्हारो दर्शन मेरा मन रमता जय देव जय देव जय देव जय देव जय मंगल मूर्ति दर्शन मात्रे मन कामना पूर्ति जय देव जय देव जय देव जय देव जय देव जय देव बोले गजानन भगवान की मंगल मूर्ति गणपति बाबा बोले विघ्नेश्वर भगवान की पार्वती पुत्र की महादेव पुत्र की सिद्धि विनायक भगवान की भक्त जनो प्रेम स्वरूप आई डू होप दिस डिवाइन मैसेज एंड कथा दिस इवनिंग रिजाइड्स डीप विद इन आवर हार्ट्स एंड दैट सीड दैट वी हैव प्लांटेड दैट स्पिरिचुअल एग्रीकल्चरल सीड दैट वी हैव प्लांटेड ग्रोस डिवाइन फ्रूट्स इन आवर लाइफ्स टू कम May we continue on this journey of bhakti yoga. May we continue with divinity in our mind and hearts, and continue to the end of Ganesh Chaturthi Mahotsavam. And after the Mahotsavam, let us not forget all of these divine lessons that we have learned. Let us not forget that divine love that we have opened in our hearts in that form of the lotus flower. Imbibe that. Keep that within your heart and mind for until Ganesh Chaturthi Mahotsavam 2025. Durga Devasthanam ki, Sai Guru Kulam ki, Gudarev ki. To our honorable, humble, and simple Pandit Pidanji. Panditji has eloquently and beautifully delivered a discourse that will benefit all as entities of the higher energy. Panditji beautifully expounded on the intricately and intricately explained the mantras we use. Many of times we say and pray without knowing what we are saying. We've been blessed with the power of Meda Shakti, this power of acquiring knowledge and wisdom, and we should utilize this in our lives. We should utilize this for the betterment of ourselves. Thank you, Panditji Kiranji, for being a part of Sri Durga Devasthanam. Thank you for always being a guiding light to the young and the old. Your strength to serve humanity and God speaks of true value, what it means to be a devout, dedicated, and disciplined devotee. And thank you for spreading the glories and giving the divine Amritam of Sri Ganesha for the 11th and final night session of Sri Ganesha Tuturti Utsavam. May you continue to be blessed by our dear Lord Sri Ganesha to continue doing the work of Bhagavan. Ati Danyavad. Please give him another round of applause. <laughs> At this time, we will take one button. I invite Mataji Minawati to please come forward to render us the final button for tonight. Please welcome Mataji Minawati ji. Gangema, Om Jai Parvati Ma, Gangema. 
Prasadji, please come forward as he will give his brief presentation. Please welcome Guruji Shekhar Prasadji. Devotees of God, it's a great honor to sit here amongst the most honorable soul that come in night after night to join in this grand glorification to Bhagavan Ganesh on his beautiful Ganesh Chaturthi Moha Utsav which tonight would bring us to the end of this great journey of spirituality here at the Aryan <clears throat> Spiritual Center. But we will continue to perform Manas Puja 
तो भगवान गणेश इन ओवर हार्ट तो पंडित किरण द नाइट ही हैव ब्रिंग विक्ट्री इन ओवर सोसाइटी इन ओवर टेंपल एंड आल्सो हैव ब्यूटीफुल डिस्टिंक्शन विथ हिज डिवाइन प्रोफेशन आर यू एग्री विद मी knowing him for 16 years now come into this country looking at him as a young person at age 21 when i met him and there were some kind of connection when i saw him at such a young age and at that time he had a girlfriend but now she's at his dharma patni and When I look at this two soul and I look at him the instinct within me is telling me that one day this young man is going to come out and shine like a goal that there is something hidden within him and all that he need is good guidance in his life When the first time I met him all I asked him to do is to come to the temple however the girlfriend that he had at that time who is now his dharma patni she was very supportive to him even to when he was going to take his initiation at that moment she support him in everything that he do and after his upanaya sanskar 6 month after was his marriage sacrament vivaha sanskar why he was just 22 and this was all planned by god this is the parampara this is the guru parampara when you follow the guru parampara as he mentioned his pravachan you will never question why how and where you just go according to what is right what is need to be done stand there as a witness of his vivaha marriage sacrament and see that he would have received the blessing from his entire family friends and loved ones after his vivaha sanskar his dharma patni where is her can see her kumari ji clap for her <laughs> said to him i am going to support you 100% in this spiritual path and i am going to become a vegetarian and walk this life with you and then he said to her well you know i am not going to eat no onion and no garlic again she said okay i will support you well that is what you call a dharma patni that is what you call a woman with great morals and great values and i think if it was not for her this would have never been possible for him to get to this heights in spirituality her entire life would have transformed as a devi and support him in every aspect after marriage in this path of spirituality he work he have his household now he do, he have four children maybe one more is coming four children he is having he go to work and he still take the time off to come and work for god blessed to the child that work for god and this is pandit kiran <laughs> despite of all the situation that he would have went through in life he never give up on the god within him despite of all the challenge in, in the challenge in his life he never gave up on god and as i sat there listening to him this alone can tell us that durga devasthanam and sai gurukul have produced great leader and not follower <laughs> this by itself is one of the greatest blessing that one can ever ask for in life when you can sit 
and listen to your child. Relate to the people about the ancient text and the ancient scripture and bring it out in a very practical way that we can understand how to motivate and elevate our life. Tonight, he has made all of us proud. Even though that when he would have to take his Upanaya Sanskar, some would have said, you know, he cannot do it. But what he said, he will do what he have to do. Now look what we are having. Little Sanjeev is playing tabla for his father. Can you believe that? A son is playing tabla for his father, singing the glories of God. This is the blessing from the Guru Parampara. And this is when, as he beautifully said to all of us, when you understand what is truth, there will be no need to explain anything in life. That is the reason. Be careful what you listen to. Be careful who you associate with. Be careful with your association. And be careful with the friends you have relation with. In this world, if take one tree to give you one million matstick, and it only take one matstick to burn down one million tree. And that's how life is. One word you might listen to someone, which is very negative, can confuse all the penance and tapasya that you would have done in your life. And the moment you would have worked so hard for God, and the moment the blessing is coming out, because of negativity and listening to gossiping and things which is not benefit to you, it destroys everything. That is why think thrice before you speak. And always tell yourself after what you would have told here tonight, the importance of self-conscious, the importance of self-confident, the importance of self-respect, everything begins within you. You are responsible for your own karma, not me or Pandit Kiran or Ganesha. You are responsible. And tonight was a great awakening, enlightenment to tell us it take a young man how old are you now? 35. 25 or 35? 35. 35 years of age, have four children and a wonderful life and a wonderful family. But still, he made the time to educate, to liberate, and to help us to travel to that journey of spirituality. Tonight, I bring great joy for Sai Gurukul. Tonight, alone, I bring a closure to this great imagination and this vision that I would have had when I came to America 15 years ago. And one thing that when I came to this country, I realized the people who we would have associated with at that time were still living in a third world way of life. They were still living in a life which was uncivilized when it comes to the spirituality. And when I realized to myself, you know what? I am not here in America for what America have. I am here in America to give America what I have. And what I came with was a little Ganesh. A little Ganesh. A red suitcase and $100 when I came. And I didn't even come to stay. But that was the moment that when the instinct and the power and the nakshatra and all the ancient blessing from the universe would have marched together and say, you know what? This is the starting point now. To spread dharma in the no, the here is where the west in the west. This was the moment now of bringing this. And when we started this great institution, it wasn't an easy task. You had so many opposition to deal with. You had so many negativity and problems and comments. But you know what? When you have a vision, you know what you have to do. You don't have to justify to anyone. 
Pandit Krishna was that pillar of strength, of hope, and of trust. There were so many trust had lain on his shoulder. Work day and night with his strength and his blessing to mold this institution together. And I'm so happy tonight that in this lifetime, I can be here on this planet and listen to a great student that create an empire of bhakti tonight. This was the start and this was the reason of coming to this country. And as tonight would have chosen by God for him to present to you all this wonderful presentation from our ancient scripture. Despite of all that he would have gone through in life, I'm so happy that we have the first generation and now we have in the second generation in Dharma. And I'm happy that he give us children that will continue with his legacy. One time I said to the kids, them, I said, you know, this institution will be here for over a thousand years and more. That's my vision. And I think many had doubt this will never be possible. But tonight, the answer is here. The, the, there is no need for me to explain anymore. What we would have witnessed here tonight alone can answer all the question and remove the doubt from everyone's mind. So again, whenever you see someone is in a boat without paddle, you take your hands and help them to cross that ocean of difficulties. When you see someone is working for dharma, never question. Just give your support and your help because you never know if that person might have to be the one to perform your final rites. Or if that person will have to be there to support you. So to everyone who would have support Panditji Krishna on this part of spirituality, I want to say thank you. To his mom, to his parents, especially his mom. When he took his Upanaya Sanskar, she said, you know what? Whatever it takes for my child, I'll make that sacrifice. You know what she did? She become a vegetarian. And she also is her big son and she will support him. And from the example that he would have proven in that home, his little brother Raj become vegetarian and his sister also become vegetarian. So that is the kind of person dealing with here tonight. A man with great morals, a man with great value, a person that who honor and respect God to the highest. So I want to say thank you to his parents for producing such a wonderful, dynamic, simple and most loving child to Dharma and to our institution. Clap for the parents. <laughs> Blessed are his parents to produce such a wonderful and most divine soul to us. Before I conclude, I just want to encourage all the parents and youths who are here tonight. Never allow the words from anyone to disturb the Ganapati within you. Never lend his ears to listen to negativity because when you do that and the Ganesha from within you remove, you will be in ignorance, you will be in darkness and your life will have so many problems. So tonight, as we would have received one of the greatest blessings from God, let us continue to pray for this great institution. In this institution, we couldn't give much to all the children, but we make sure for the ones who had the support from their parents to study the Veda, study the scripture, they come out with distinction. And we didn't have much to give them because of the society we're living in, but one thing that we give to them we work with them and majority of the, the first set youth 
that this institution would have commenced with now most of them have their bachelors and their masters Clap. that was our mission to create a spiritual army because not everyone would have born to become a Purohit but all we could have done for them is to make sure that they take their education and that was a priority and we thank our nation for helping all these children to channel to this level of spirituality and we will continue to celebrate this Utsav now and forever so with that said I thank all of you for listening and I thank all of you for coming out tonight despite that today was a day of great test from last night. We didn't give up. You see Panaji Krishna is sitting there. He was running like a little boy up down the altar and his toe had a big cut and it bleed so bad. But he didn't give up to preach the Dharma. He didn't give up to do what he had to do. That is what I admire with him. Determination within him for God is amazing. So Continue with the great work. Continue to preach the Dharma. You have the blessing from everyone. And we thank you for all the contribution you would have given to us. Mangala Murti! Gainapati Papa! Jaya Bolo Gajananang Bhagavan Ki! Thank you, Guruji, for that beautiful presentation. Devotees, at this time, I kindly ask of you all to please stand as you will now commence with Mantra Pushpam and final action. <laughs> Ganapati Jagavanda Shankar Suvana Bhavani Nanda Shankar Suvana Bhavani Nanda
Thank you. 
dance now. Let's dance together. Oh, Radhe, 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 Radhe.
For these 11 days, you have never short us for anything. You have provided for us three meals every day. Everyone that attend your yagya have never left empty hand. The only thing was not permitted to spend more time in the night because of rules. Bhagavan, thou art the source of strength. The source of power, the source of Shanti. We asked, Shanti, give us Shanti, peace, Prabhu. You know the peace, the past. You know the present, you know the future. You are the one that who we pray throughout this time to give us divinity. Bhagavan. As tomorrow we will perform your Puramuti, your Kumbha Vishikam, we will be garland you with all the precious flowers that come all the way from India. Bhagavan. We will bid our farewell with you to take you back to the Panchabhutas. But we know you are not going anywhere. You will stay in us forever. You will stay with us forever. What we're taking tomorrow, Bhagavan, is all the demon force that was coming in our way. Let us worship tomorrow, not you. Continue to live on in our heart, Bhagavan. Bless the hands that serve this community through this time. Prabhu, bless all the devotees from Trinidad, Guyana, Suriname, here in America, who would come and support us wholeheartedly, Bhagavan. <clears throat> it's all through your grace, Prabhu, tonight. 
क्षमा करो इफ एनी मिस्टेक कर the <laughs> 
गजवक्षम चतुर्थक लंबोदर पंचम चम विकत में सप्त विघ्नराज चोम वर्णम तटक नवम भारचंद्रम च दशम तो विनायक एकशम गणपति द्वारशम तो गजान द्वार सैतागुण यादि विद्यारंभे प्रवेश निर्गमे तथा संग्राम संकते विघन तस्ते अभीद से पूरते सुरेशरय सर्विघ्न हरे तस्म गणाधिपत नम 
महेश पुत्र समस्त विघने सविनाश दक्ष मंगल्य पूजा प्रथम प्रधान ग्रहण पूजा भगवान नमस्ते हरि ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम पर पूज व्यस जी हमारे आदरणीय पंडित शेखर जी समस्त पंडित गण ममता मई मातृ शक्ति समस्वान के जो वर्ग है आज तो अति सुंदर की बात है अति योग्य की बात है अति श्रेष्ठ की बात है कारण कि हम लोग पुनः अपने काम धाम से विशेष वक्त तो निकाल करके भगवान के धाम में गणपति के धाम में उपस्थित हुआ है अंतिम दर्शन करने के लिए ये महान उत्सव के लिए इसलिए भगवान गणपति के परम चलान भर में बार बार सर नमन करता हो नमन करता हो नमन करता हो माय डियर माय वंडरफुल व्यास जी यू डिड एन एक्सप्रेसिव एक्सपाशुएटिंग जॉब पुट योर हैंड अगेन व्यास जी आई नॉट फॉरगेटिंग माय ब्रदर शेखर जी हु इज द लाइफ वायर ऑफ दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ही डिड एन इमेंस जॉब इन क्रिएटिंग दिस प्लेस एट्स अ रियल अयोध्या एज वी ऑलवेज से आई जस्ट वांट टू जॉइन विद पनीत शेखर जी I didn't get chance to come here. I was busy all week. Last night I tried to listen to Bhaiji Shikha. I came all the way from Long Island late with my last puja from all the way Freeport. I really missed out, but I said I said I must come tonight. I don't know who was the Vyas, but I said I will become. But Vyas ji, let me tell you, listening to your havan and listening to you on that Ganesh Atharvashish explanation, you did a massive job. You did a great job. First time I'm listening to a Vyas or a Pandit to explain Ganesh Atharvashir, and it's a very wonderful. Uh, what is it? Stotra, a very wonderful uh, piece of epic for Bhagwan Sri Ganesh, and listening to his Sanskrit in the Havan and other Vyas, I, I was I was mesmerized to be honest. Listening to him for the first time, I came to the Yajna. I was invited by by Bhai Ji Shikhar many many times, but you know what? All of us are pandit and we are all busy. But I must compliment him and compliment our Bhai Ji Shikhar. He did, as he said, Bhai Ji Shikhar is the guru. Well, let me tell you, he has a very sharp cutlass to deal with. A very sharp cutlass to deal. You got to be careful because if you slip. You see, when you slip, you slide. So be careful, Vyasji. I must compliment you. You really make me feel nice. You know, I don't really go to Yajna very often unless the Vyas can really captivate my heart. And he did. I listened to Bhaiji Shri Kakatha also the night on uh, Facebook. He did a massive job. You did a wonderful job. Congratulations and Bhagwan Ganapati bless all of you and do support the organization. It is is really expanding, and I'm very happy to see our Dharman is really climbing the step, expanding, and we should have many more like this, many more times. And all of you devotees, Bhagwan bless you on this wonderful night and blessed time of Ganesh Utsav. Prem solo Ganapati Bhagwan ki jai. Thank you, Pandit Ji, Narayan, for those kind words. Words of comfort and words of love to our Vyasji, and uh, how must I explain? Thank you for describing the sharp cutlass. I like that. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Nevertheless, this cutlass have to keep sharpen, so you got to be defiled. You got to be defiled to keep it sharpen, because uh, when he was speaking here, a thought came to me. To perform a yagya like this in Kali Yuga is not easy. You have to have a cutlass. You have to be sharp. You have to be on point. You have to be on the field to weed the grass and cut the vine that come to create disturbance and confusion. And that is why sometimes when the words are very sharp, somebody say, "Why this man is being so rough and so rude?" Well, it's not me. It's the cutlass. <laughs> so I want to enlighten all of you. I know it's late. Come to your blessing. Come to yourself, fortunate. Even you, when you go to India, you're born in India. You're not even allowed to go to yagya shala. You're not even allowed to be a part of the ritual. And here we create this house of worship to give every one of you.
the opportunity to come and experience spirituality. And this is the Guru Parampara. We will continue with this year after year. Now, I want to wish my little Shishya, Govina, come. Tomorrow, she has to go to school. And Tuesday will be her birthday. She sit and perform her puja today, especially she say, you know what? I, I really want you to do my puja. And when Vyasji had come in, says, Katha, I had to go there and finish. When I look at her face alone, I said, look how special and wonderful is this great little child. Wanted only puja and blessing for her birthday. <laughs> I remember when we were in Brooklyn, she was a little Kanya like this. Cry so bad. And as year after year see her grow and becoming this great student with this great values of Dharma, I really admire the way how the mother is bringing up this child. Clap for the mom. I like the way how she's dressed, and then, you know, she asked for a piece of flower for her hair today because she said it make her look very beautiful and get all the fresh fragrance. Today, we want to pray for her and say to Bhagawan, bless this child as she will be commencing her school tomorrow and Tuesday is going to be her birthday. How old are you going to be? Wow, 11 years old. Let's clap for her and say happy birthday. Raise your right hand and let's bless her. Om Namaste Bhagavan Vishweshwaraya Mahadevaya Trayam Bhakaya Tripuran Rakaya Trikalagni Kalaya Kalagni Rudraya Nila Kantaya Brityam Jayaya Sadaveshwaraya Sadashivaya Sri Man Mahadevaya Namaha Sri Pite Surapujite Kamale Kamalalaye Prasida Prasida Sri Bream Sri Mom Sri Mahalakshmi Divya so That is the reason why her mom sponsored Saturday night service. It was for her blessing, but I take up all the time with my Pravachan and I even couldn't remember to bless this child. So I want to say to her mom, thank you for having the patience. Thank you for having the love and thank you for giving your love and your support to this beautiful Yagya. Pranam everyone. Thank you Panditji. What an amazing um, Ganesh Chaturthi this has been and you created it all. And we love you very much and we pray that every year you'll continue to make this bigger, better, and everyone come out and support us. Isabella, I want to wish you a happy 11th birthday. May Bhagwan Ganesh bless you. May Swarasati Mata and Durga Mata, they all bless you with everything you ever want. Thank you. I love you. Hello, everyone. Pranam. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Guruji. And thank you, everyone. Um, this is an amazing service, and I'm so happy to be here. And thank you. Thank you, Govina. God bless you. A very quick reminder. Mm. I, it, tonight, it, it really feels sad, but we're going to deal with it. I just want to say to all of you, when it comes into this moment, to put a closure to Yagya for your Brahmanas, for your Rishis, for the Munis. It's not easy to say goodbye to Yagya because you have to be born with great divine principle to be a part of it. And for some of you might say, oh yeah man, I'm happy it's done now. But for us, we wish it could have been more, more and more because you know why? take a lot of self-sacrifice to put everything together. And the energy that created here, everyone is talking about this energy everywhere you go. And that was the energy of love that bring everyone here night after night. And the big boss, Ganapati, the president of the universe, him is the cause of all causes. Clap for him. <laughs> 
tomorrow will be the final day. And I want to say thank you for your support. All I'm asking for tonight is not to give anything. All we need from you is to come tomorrow morning and witness this Maha Purnahuti. But you're going to come and see it live tomorrow. And I want you to come and feel this kind of vibration and be a part of this yagya. Not come as a guest, come as a shrota. That is why we kept tomorrow for everyone who worked so hard to come and receive your blessings. And after 5 a.m., the Hawan Karnapati Homam will complete. We will perform the Mahakumba Abhishekam. We'll honor our king, our president of this universe with all the different ingredients that Mother Earth would have provided for us in Gomata. I will anoint him with love and with devotion. And we're going to dress him with royalty tomorrow with Pushpam Alangaram. And after that is completed, at 10 we will perform the Arati. And at 11, so sad, we have to leave the crossway for the resurgence. And all I'm asking, make sure you tell people, this big Murti there is not going to be surgeon. He's going for a walk with us. But we have a little six inch Ganesha that will submerge to the Ganga tomorrow. So come and celebrate. At five minutes past 12, I'm having a special home there for Ganapati. And then we will turn the Murti we will take it off from the top baby, bring it to the bottom, and we will awaken the energy there, and we will do some chanting and some prayers, probably until the tree. So if you want to stay back, it's fine. If you have to go, we bless you. We give you our love, we give you our support. But if you can take some time off tomorrow and come back, please do so. That's all we're asking for. And as we will conclude tomorrow night, for those of you who are working. I know in night you don't work some. Come and give us a hand to put everything back to place and to take it to the temple. And remember that when Hanumanji was working for Prabhu Sri Ram in protecting the Yagya, building the Yagya Shala and take care of all the ingredients, Prabhu Hanumanji work without even Bhagwan Sri Ram tell him what to do. You know exactly what he have to do. That's how we have to operate. We have to have an operation to do things without we are, uh, we are not asked to do it. We must know that what we have to because we are all human. And we all have an Atma. We all have this life and this body. And whatever we can do to help someone, especially a Yagya, do it. So tomorrow is a last. We will be fully rewarded not only by doing the Puja, but also help to put everything back to place so that come 2025 already <laughs> 2025 come next year it's going to be a grand so far Tej have told us that she's going to sponsor next year for Ganesh Chaturthi and her cousin Raj clap for them so I'm looking forward for you all to come on the spiritual board and say to me that next Ganesh Chaturiti, I am here to give your support. That's all we want, nothing else. Again, thank you. And to Vrinda, clap for this man. Clap for her. God bless her. And God bless all of you. So as we'll continue with this journey before you leave to go home, just stay five minutes and help us to pack up inside here and put everything back in place so that tomorrow will be a grand celebration. Mangala Murti! Karnapati Papa! Jai Bolo Gajanan Bhagavan Aki Chai. And final note, stay calm. Stay peaceful. Don't talk too much. Just keep this energy balanced.